Welcome to day 81 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna have a look at how to make this typing text animation on Webflow. We're gonna use a typed JS library. It's gonna be super simple, super quick, and this can be customized to make some cool animations that you can use on your next project. So without further ado, let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. Today we're gonna have a look at how to make the typing text effect on this title here. So we're gonna make this to be like a typewriter animation. I don't know what you call it. And it's gonna change to different words. So it's gonna be developer, designer, and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at how to do that. We're gonna first change this um, class. So let's duplicate this class. No. Let's not remove it, let's duplicate it and call this typing text, for example. Of course, you can name this anything you want, but we're gonna to refer to it as typing text. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a height of, let's say, seven rams, um, no, maybe more. Yeah, maybe like nine rams, 9.5. So giving it a height because it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna go out and go back in. It's like a typewriter, so when it goes out, it's gonna lose its height. So if, if I give it a height, it's just gonna keep that space. Uh, and now I'm gonna use some custom code. What we're gonna use is this library here. So this library is called uh, typed.js, so you can look for it. And I think there's a page for explaining it. So it's by Matt Bolt. Bolt. And uh, basically you can go to this page and you can read more about it, but this is the GitHub repository. So you can find out more about this here. Uh, what we need is the CDN. So we're gonna call this library. So let's paste this here in the page settings of our Webflow project. And then we're gonna basically call the elements. So what it's doing here, it's naming an ID, calling it an, naming an element with an ID element, and then it's calling it back here. Uh, I've already prepared something, so I'm just gonna copy that. And um, basically, let's just go here. Let's open a script tag, paste it, close script. So let me tell you this. So this is basically calling the variable typed and applying it on typing text. And then we have strings, which are developer, designer, consultant. So these three strings are the strings that, that are gonna show here, the words that are gonna show here. Of course, this can be anything, this can be sentences, this can be anything you want. Uh, I'm setting up the speed to be 50, the back speed to be 50. So, you know, the, the speed that, which is deleting the, the words, the letters. Uh, loop to be true and uh, perhaps if I want more features, more functions, you can go back to the GitHub repository, to the docs, and you can see there are many different uh, options that you can add, bulk typing, smart backspaces, type posing, uh, and so on. So if you can customize it, uh, fade in, fade out, cursor. So for example, the cursor, I might use that one. So let's let's actually have a look at this first. Let's see how this is reacting. So typing text, this is called typing text, perfect. Let's just have a look at how, let's ha see how this acts up. So you see like it says developer, designer, consultant, and it's working as I want it to be. So I want to remove, for example, this cursor. So I can go to cursor where it says show cursor. I can just copy that one and add that option to my custom code. So we can go here. And that option, I want this to be false because I don't want to show the cursor. So let's publish that and see how this looks. Um, okay, let's refresh. So this is better. So your ultimate workflow designer, developer, consultant, and this keeps changing as you can see. Uh, so you can fine tune this even more from here. You can fine tune it based on your project. Uh, this can be very useful. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can add more than one and get creative with it. But this uh, feature is something that is cool to add on your project. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Firefly journey.